Hey guys, I'm here with a guide on how to make some money in the members world, old school RuneScape, killing green dragons. So honestly, I've been researching a lot of money making methods. I'm quite poor in this game. Yes, I know I have a whip equipped, but trust me, it took some work to um, build that. And yeah, I kind of hate all the money making methods in this game. So this channel is going to be focused on the ones that I actually like doing. So. Hopefully I don't go back on my word, I kind of feel like I will, but for now let's just focus on the actually fun money making methods. So to kill green dragons, this is what you're going to need, okay? You're going to need at least 70 attack, 70 strength, and if you're going to do this with range, then you're probably going to want 75 ranged. Don't bother with magic. Um, and you're also going to need 43 prayer exactly pretty much because I'm going to show you how to prayer flick properly and you will never run out of prayer. So you want 43 just so we can protect from melee. For the required items, it's basically going to be, and all of these are purchasable from the Grand Exchange. So you're going to want a Ring of Dueling so we can teleport to the Ferox Enclave. You're going to want an Anti-Dragon Shield so you, you know, can absorb the damage taken from Dragonfire. You know, want anti-fire potion because the shield will not be enough. You're going to need the potion as well. That will make it so you take zero damage from um, dragon fire. And you're going to want a burning amulet so we can teleport from the Ferox Enclave back to the bandit camp. And then we just go west to the dragons. So that's a f almost 5k investment, which is literally quite nothing. So basically anyone should have 5k available. Everything else I've brought in is completely up to you, okay? You don't need anything else I've brought here. I'm bringing the Blessing, the Warrior Helm, the Cape of Legends, the Whip, the Barrow's Gloves, and Dragon uh, Chain Body Plate Legs. Like the Dragon Chain Body and Plate Legs, if I just put these in my bank right now, nothing would change, okay? It, like, it's completely optional, trust me. The whole point of this money-making method is the fact that we don't have to invest anything really. And the last thing you're going to need is a looting bag. This is basically a second inventory full of items, and um, it's ba it drops from almost any monster in the wilderness extremely commonly if you don't have um, one in your bank or inventory. And if you really, I don't suggest this, but I've done it once, if you are feeling really lazy, you can just buy a looting bag note for a looting bag, but I don't suggest doing that because it will take you quite literally two seconds if you just go kill any monster. You could even go to the dragons without a looting bag in your inventory, and the chances are you're probably going to get one. I don't remember if you need to be on a slayer task to get a looting bag, but I'm 99% sure you don't need to. I think you just kill any monster without it, and you will get one. So, actually, for the sake of this video, let's just see if that's true. Let's just go ahead and destroy my looting bag, and let's go get one from the dragons. So, to start this off, we are going to use, and I'm, um, I've equipped the Duel of the Ring of Dueling and the Burning Amulet to not only reduce my risk, but also just to save inventory slot because we are going into the wilderness. So if I die, these are the things I'm going to lose. It's really not the end of the world. It's 137k. That's almost one trip alone. So if you make two trips and you die once, then you've already made profit. So I'm pretty happy with my setup here. All right, so let's get started. Let's go ahead, right click our Burning Amulet, and we're gonna go to the Bandit Camp. Hello, Bandit Camp. There we go. Teleport to level 17 wilderness, so this is not deep wilderness whatsoever. Why does it say I have no weapon equipped? Oh, there it is. All right. So we're gonna run west here. I will show on the map as well, in case anyone just wants to walk for some reason. You're, we're going to this little black hole thing over here. And uh, just over here, so this is in the wilderness, remember? If you get, if a player logs in, Here's what you want to do, okay? You want to stay in combat with a dragon because this is not a multi-combat area. So if I'm in combat with a green dragon, nobody can hurt me. Nobody can touch me. So let's say I'm in a fight with a green dragon, someone logs in, you just right-click Castle Wars or whatever, Ferex Enclave. It doesn't matter. So that's the most important thing is basically it's going to be quite hard to get killed here because the monsters are going to keep us in combat at all times. So... Here's what we're going to do. We want this to be as fast as possible, so we are going to drink our anti-fire potion. Make sure you have right-click, set up quick prayers, and you have protect from melee on your quick prayers. And in the event you are going to die, make sure you're ready to click protect item. 
and make sure you click that before you actually die, not as you're dying. All right, so we're gonna drink this, and we're going. I'm going to show you six minutes of doing this strategy. So basically, you get into like a rhythm. You see how I just toggle that on for like a second? So what this does is it basically, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like an unintended bug, but Jagex is totally fine with it. It's been around forever. See, there I just missed, but it doesn't matter. I have enough defensive gear that I can afford to be lazy. It doesn't really matter that much to me. Uh, so we are only going to be taking Dragon Bones and Green Dragon Hide. Ignore coins, ignore most things. Like there's adamant full helms that you'll want to take, but um, unless the drop is more than a green dragon hide in terms of value, then we're going to ignore it. So yeah, you just sit here. We're just chilling. There's really nothing to worry about. Players have better things to do than come here. You can um, obviously go to a world that has a lower population that would make you feel safer. And as you see, I do miss protections here and there, probably because I'm multitasking while talking right now. But um, it just doesn't really matter. That's why I brought the dragon chain body and the dragon plate legs and the Cape of Legends is because my defense is now high enough that it's kind of unlikely for me to get damaged anyway, so I can afford to make a few mistakes. So there's an adamant full helm, so that was pretty lucky. That We want to high elk that, by the way. We don't want to um, we don't want to put that on the GE. We want to high elk it. So after this dragon, let me try and do one properly, because I've been really doing this sloppy. And make sure you loot... Like, watch the dragon death animation. You want to be doing something while it's dying to save time. There's a looting bag, like I said. Okay, so you don't even need to be on a task. My task right now is Hellhound, so I just got a looting bag from a random thing. There's a player over there, level 55, looks like a bot. But um, yeah, so let me do it properly here. So basically, you want to have... Oh, crap. My mouse has a funny left click. Let me try again after this. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter, though. That's what I love about this. It really doesn't even matter. Okay, I'm, I don't know if I'm having input lag or something, but my... My toggling is not working correctly. So do not accidentally pick up the Marantil, because if you accidentally pick up the Marantil, it will go into your looting bag, and it will waste a slot by accident. So you do not want to do that, of course. All right, let me see if I can do it for real. So I get the first hit, so I always get that. Oh, pfft, that was dumb. And um, always just get into the flick like um, mindset, even if you're... Um, even if it does dragon fire attack, just get into the rhythm. Yeah, so I'm experiencing lag right now, but normally what you want to be doing is just like, you just have your overhead prayer up for like the same tick that it attacks you. And then this basically conserves your prayer forever. So I'm doing it quite generously right now because I'm trying to show you guys how to do it properly. Trust me though, when I'm doing this on my own, I, I don't even pray half the time because I just kill them for free. Like I said, my defense is good enough that they don't hit me that often. And of course, I get hit as soon as I say that. There's an Ensouled Dragon Head, so that's another item you do not need to be on a Slayer Task for, which is nice. And yeah, okay, so I'll just go ahead and show you the loot from this entire trip, actually. Just so we get an idea of how much money you actually make here. This, I don't know why, maybe it's because I'm recording, I, I really feel like I'm getting input lag right now that is making this prayer flicking harder, but it doesn't matter. I'm not doing some high-end content that, like, every tick of damage matters. Like, if I was doing Jad right now or something like that, then I would be in trouble. But for these dragons, it's chill, doesn't matter. And yeah, your HP is pretty irrelevant, all things considered, as well, because we are going to go back to Ferox Enclave, of course, and use the Pool of Rejuvenation. So, yeah, this is actually so weird. I'm going to have to fix this for future videos. I don't like how my uh, quick prayer isn't, doesn't act how it is. Okay, there's a Renar weed, so I'm going to get, this is going to be higher than average loot, actually. This is, this might be a little bit more than you'd normally get. Let me just check this, see if I have coins in there. I don't, so I'm going to drop these coins. Because it's just a waste of an inventory slot. As much as I hate just dropping coins like that on the ground, it is a waste of an inventory slot. It might as well be a Dehide or Dragon Bones. And you, of course, get this as a 100% drop chance. Both of those items, so that is why it's so good. Let's just see exactly how much every single kill is worth in a second here. Alright. So, boom, boom. So every single green dragon is worth over 4k. I mean, that is very, very consistent money. The only risk you're doing, really, is the fact that you're in the wilderness. 
And if you die to... Okay, let's see. What, what, we're in Wilderness level 13, so don't take my word for this. If you were to take something like a Berserker Ring Eye with you or something... I'm actually... Like, I'm still new to the game myself. This is why I have to do money-making methods like this, right? So, if you die here with, like, a Dragon Defender or a Graceful Outfit or something like that, I think you won't lose it permanently. Please don't take my word for that, though. Go look that up first before you try anything. But what I'm trying to say is the fact that we're only in Wilderness level 13, it just it makes everything so much easier because we can actually use teleports while in the Wilderness. So while I'm in combat with this dragon right now, I could go to Ferox Enclave if I want. That's why it's so nice. I absolutely love this spot. I would not trust other players by default. You know, it doesn't matter if they're cannoning and minding their own business, they could be a threat. They could just tell their clan to come get you or something, you know? A million things could happen. Maybe they have an alt logged in at the same location, ready to PK you. So, personally, I've never... I've been PK'd a lot in the wilderness. I've lost millions of gold in the wilderness. But I've never been PK'd in this spot, particularly. I just feel like people have better things to do. And people that are here are on a slayer task, usually. So, they're just... they're not even interested in you, right? The Revenant Cave is another story. The Revenant Cave, while it's way better money than this, the chances of you dying are way higher. Alright, so we're nearing the end of our trip here, and then we'll go total our money. Our GP, I mean. Steel Plate Legs, High Alk 600. As much as I want to take that, I'm not going to because in the water runs, like, I'm a, I'm a hoarder, right? I love taking things. But I'm not going to do it when I do this because it is objectively a waste of an inventory slot. And remember, our health and prayer points are quite irrelevant. Like, I've used... I've used nine prayer points in this entire journey so far, and I've been doing it extremely poorly because my mouse and input lag is just being horrible for some reason. So, like, I just left click and I didn't di didn't um, toggle off. Okay, so sometimes I I uh, forget to pay attention there. Uh, so the fire is hurting me. So we're gonna drink one more dose. For me, it takes two doses per trip. You see how sloppy I am, right? This is why. This is why I'm a lazy RuneScape player. I like to AFK things, I like to not put... Like, that's why I like this game. It's because I don't have to put a lot of effort. I play other games like Apex Legends and Dead by Daylight to put effort in, and then sometimes I want a game where I just don't put any effort in. So this is one of those games. So let me see if I can um, get this... Once, in a second here, once I'm about... Like, we have two... Think of it as two inventories, right? Once I'm at, like, 75% done those, those inventories, like, once this reaches halfway, I turn on piety, which you don't need, it's absolutely not a requirement. But I do this just to speed things up because we are going to rejuvenate at, um... We're gonna get full prayer and hit points from the Ferex Enclave. And if you had a player-owned house with high enough construction, maybe there's a better way, but I don't know. I'm not really into construction, as you can see, so... Yeah, I don't really, I don't, I have very little interest in construction, even though I know it is very useful. I have the teleports I want right now, so I'm happy. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish this up. I don't think every single one of these videos will be this long, but since this is my first ever RuneScape video on this channel, screw it, we'll just, we'll go for that full duration and see if there's any feedback. So, I just broke my own rule there, I wasn't... I was not um, getting ready. Okay, so now I'm going to activate Piety. You can use Rigor or Augury. No, you, you're not going to use Magic here, so you can use Rigor if you want instead. And I just leave it on. Like I said, I'm lazy. I'm not going to. I'm not going to bother to flick the Piety. We're going to within 54 prayer points. We are going to fill up our inventory. I'm sure of. So yeah, and special attack. You could use it if you wanted. This is a particularly bad. Um, special attack weapon and honestly I'd rather keep it for a player maybe there's like some ragger with a dragon dagger and then I can get rid of their stamina and try to run away if I need to but you know it's whatever again like I said I am I, I'm with King Condor on the view of like tryharding a runescape is a little bit that's not how I like to play I like to be chill I like to just have a good time I'm not worried about maximum efficiency like, you know, most pro players are going to be flicking right now, but why, why should I flick? I don't need to. I'm just going to keep my Pieti on, and we're going to get this bag here. Keep in mind that since I am using Pieti, I am draining prayer points, so my protect item will be at risk, of course. So around, around here, I'd like to just stop. That was just for some, you know, momentary speeding up the process. 
And I do think this is taking a little bit longer than it normally takes me, but that's fine. I've just been a little bit, uh... As long as you do it within two Dragonfire potions, that's kind of like my goal. Like, I don't want to use a third dose. Even though it is dirt cheap, I'm a hoarder, right? I don't like to, uh... I don't like to waste things, so... As long as I do it within two Anti-Fire Dotions... Anti-Fire Potion doses, then I'm pretty happy. So, in Soul Dragon Head, we are definitely going to get... Like, these are... These are better than average drops. This, but that's just to show you how consistent it really is. I mean, it's not like crazy RNG or anything. I'm just... It's just a good money-making spot. And other players might tell you, Hey, there's other better places to kill monsters. And you know what? Good for you. This is a quiet place. Everyone leaves me alone. I just chill out, get my... So it's about 110k per trip. And I don't know how to calculate that into hour. I believe on the wiki it was like 400 to 500k per hour. But again, I'm not one to care about things like per hour GP. I, I care a lot more about like... This is probably like a... Probably like a noob thing to say, but I'm much more interested in just like what is... What am I getting now? I don't want to think about what I'm going to do with the hours of my day. I want to like, what am I going to get right now? Obviously, it's useful to like get a general metric, but um, I prefer to just do each money ma method, money making method, just once. So right now, for these last few kills, you've noticed I haven't had to protect from melee at all. These dragons will occasionally drop food, and if you want to use the food, make sure you close your looting bag, pick it up, eat it, and then open it again. Well, right now, it doesn't matter since it's full. See, I don't want to pick up any of that other stuff. There's no point. I want to show you what the maximum loot is. So I guess I'll go use special attack, and we'll we'll start tryharding a little bit. So I get 25% extra defense, so it's even less likely for that dragon to hit me. But I also like that's why I do it like the tick before I get attacked instead of uh, the tick that I'm actually attacking the hit. Dragon Bones. Uncut Emerald again. As much as I would love to take that, we are not going to. And we have two kills left. So I'm going to go ahead and flick some PID for that. Obviously, the higher strength bonus you have, the better, but personally, this is what I'm comfortable with risking. So this is what I brought. I wouldn't want to bring like obsidian plate body or something just for, what is it, like three extra strength? I just don't care to risk a mill over that. So yeah, just uh, I am combat level 100, there are my, there's my stats, and that's what I'm using this trip for. And as you can tell, it is extremely chill, and I've taken more damage this trip than I've probably taken um, any other trip just because I am... I, I'm just so, it's just so nonchalant. I want to I show you how effortless it is. If you are low level, you're going to have to put a little more effort in. Um, so, but trust me, it's not a lot of effort. If you have the Dragonfire Potion on, which I've just run out, so this is my last kill. So yeah, I definitely was slower than average, but um, let's just see what we get regardless. So, now that we have a full inventory, Ring of Dueling, we go to Ferox Enclave. This is a wilderness safe zone. It is a hub. And then first thing you do is drink the pool of refreshment. Or probably, you probably want to bank first, but whatever. I always go for this first. And as you'll see, run energy full, health full, prayer full. Go to the bank. Well, first let's, uh, let's see what we made out of that. So we have, let's see, how does that work? That doesn't work. Okay. So we have 48, no, no, no. In Soul Dragon Head. Okay, so 58k plus 69k. So that's about, I'm bad at math, that's probably like 130 something k. Usually I get about 110k, but just so you know, like that's all the effort it took. It took literally, that was effortless. That required no work at all. You just deposit everything here, click view in the looting bag, click this button right here, and we are good to go again. We have two doses of the anti fire potion. Just simply go to Bandit Camp again. Level 17 Wilderness, that's fine. Probably the most likely I am to find a player is right here at this teleport location. But most players that teleport here are not going to attack you instantly. They usually have their own thing they're doing. And then we just go right back to it. Alright, 
So that is how to kill green dragons for profit. Every single trip you're getting about 120k, let's just call it that on average, and it's definitely a good use of your time.